Hello! So I know it's been a really long time since I posted a video. I sort of took a little break and um, I wasn't really doing any sort of crafting. I actually packed up all of my craft stuff and put it away. And then about two weeks into my break, I was watching YouTube videos and I discovered these. These are Pocket Pal letters. And I kind of love them. I think that they are really, really fun. And I thought that I would really enjoy making them. And it turns out I do. However, I don't have anyone to swap with. So I thought, hey, I'll make a video. And if you want to do a swap with me, post down below and I will get your information and we'll swap info and we can do a swap and I will do it with as many people that post videos. Um, and I might not do these, I might make new. These are my first ones, so I'm not 100% thrilled with them, but I wanted to share them anyway. So I'm gonna share them with you. Some of them aren't completely done. Some of them I decided maybe I won't do them. Maybe I'll just redo them and make them a little bit different. But anyways, I'm going to share with you. This one here is my very first one and it is my one that is only the only one that's completely done. So I'll just go over all of my pockets with you starting down here at the bottom. The first thing in here is a, um, it's a wooden little label and I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to share that. I put that in there and then in here, the first thing I did is I put a couple of paper clips with some seam binding tied onto them. And then these little um, images I thought would be really cute for cards. Um, so I printed them out and they are printed on laser printer with a laser printer so you could very easily watercolor them, um, distress color them, and the image will stay there. Um, I thought that they would be fun to share that. I found some free images on Google and printed them out. <coughs> Next over here I just have some pearls and some bling. Up here I have some flowers that I made. These are made with um, the air dry dough and um, forms and I really like the way that they turned out. I was playing with um, making my own form and so I made my form out of some flowers that I had and they turned out really cool. They are um, paintable. You can easily paint them and um, I actually have one here that I have already painted. I don't know if you can tell the flower in there. The green flower is from one of those that is painted so you can paint those. Oh here's a bigger one too. This pink flower is um, one of those that's painted as well. So you can paint them. Um, you could spray them. They don't take to the spray as well as the paint for some reason. But anyways, I just put a few of those in there. Uh, and they, they can be hot glued on. They don't work really well with any other sort of adhesive. But you can hot glue them on your project and they work really well. Anyways, then I have some really pretty sequins. I love the pink and the blue in there. And then there's a little bit of white. So I put some of those in there. And then over here we have some pink Rick Rack. And then just a... I think this is a Recollections flower. I'm not 100% sure. And then up here I put in some washi tape. Two pinks and one blue. And lastly, I have a wood Polaroid frame in here, which I thought would be really fun to decorate and put on a card or something too. <coughs> like I said, this is my first one. I'm going to share with you my second one. This is my second one, and this is a spring sort of themed one. Um, I used spring papers with it. Um, and then just kind of put in whatever I wanted. Down here, I have a bow kit. You can turn them into a little bow like that. I was going to just make the bows, but I'm not sure how well they'll transport because they're dimensional. I'm afraid that they might flatten, so I just put them in there like that. And I figured the person can make their own. They are um, cut out and then I sponged them with Distress Ink. 
And then in the next pocket I have washi tape and some glitter tape. And then over here I have some hand dyed lace that kind of matched the paper so I put it in there because I thought it was cool. And then some bling and some pearls and some flower sequins because April showers bring May flowers so I thought that was kind of springy. And then it's held together with some paper clips because I actually like the way that that holds the sequins in a lot better than the washi tape. Um, but it doesn't give you the nice clear pocket there. But I kind of liked it. Then over here we have some photo corners um, that I just found in my stash. And then up here I printed out a quote. Um, I really liked the quote. It says, I am creative. You can't expect me to be neat, too. I loved that little, um, the little saying. I thought it was perfect for a crafter. And I stuck it onto some mag magnet so that you can stick it on your fridge or whatever you want to do with it. I thought it would be fun. And then here we have a handmade flower that I made out of lace. And I dyed the lace orange and it kind of matched. And then here I just have a blank page because I haven't decided what to put there yet. Here comes my favorite one. This is my vintage -y one. Um, over here we have some more of those images that I found online. They are laser printed and then you can color them. You can watercolor them. You can Copic color them. You could distress color them. It's, it's laser printed so they can be um, you can add water and it won't hurt them. And then I put in another Polaroid frame and I love this paper here. This is a Prima paper collection. And then up here we have a quote which seems to have fallen down. Sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And then we have some vintage lace. And then I put in some gold because I really love pink and gold. So I put gold sequins in there with the pink paper and I thought it looks really cool. And then I have some ribbons holding it together or some paper clips holding it together and have not yet decided what to put on those paper clips, but I'm going to put something on them. Then here we have some pearls. Up here we have some ribbon, some gingham, and then some ruler ribbon. And then here we have some little tags that I cut. They're from the paper collection. I just cut them out and rounded the corners and then put them in there. And then I have an empty one, which I haven't put anything in yet because I don't know what I want to put in there. And then the next two are not quite finished, or they're not even close yet, so I don't know if I'm going to keep them the way that they are. Maybe I'll just change them. I don't know. I like the paper collection in this one, so I might keep it but and just keep adding to it but I have some flowers here and then here I put a little quote life is too short to be anything but happy and then I have some washi tape and this is one of my favorite washi tapes I am a photographer and so I love anything camera related and this had a cute little camera on it and this paper here is a camera paper so I thought that would be really cute together and then we have some colorful sequins in this one and then I have some Rick Rack, a handmade, um, hand-dyed lace flower, um, again, and then a blank one. And then here I have a few more of those images, and I just love that puppy image. It says, cute, just got cuter. And then lastly, this one, which has nothing on it except some bling and some sequins, and I like the way, the only thing I really like about this one is I like the way the sequins kind of really go with the paper. What I did is I bought a big, I know you can buy them online and in separated colors, but it was really expensive and I didn't want to do that. So what I did is I bought this one I bought from Hobby Lobby and these ones I bought from Michaels and I kind of like the colors in this one a little bit better, but this one had some colors that I didn't really that weren't in here I guess but anyways what I did is I just bought those and I sort of sorted them out into little collections I'm still in the process of doing it but then that way I can put whatever color I want 
in the package and it didn't cost me a fortune. This was, I think, $8 and I used my 40% coupon from Hobby Lobby and it was, there was a lot more than this. I think it was double this, I think. And then this one was a lot more than this as well. And I think maybe, maybe three of these. And I think this one was $3 from Michael's and I did not use a coupon. But anyways, that's how I got my sequins. And I have so much to spare now. And then I also, I did buy, um, I really liked this pink and they had that at Hobby Lobby for I think $2. And I really liked this blue one and that was at Hobby Lobby for $2 as well. And also this one. So I did buy those ones in separate packs. But if you're looking for an inexpensive way to get some sequins, try that way. It's a little more work because you have to sort them out and it takes forever. But all I did is I just put on a TV show and sorted while I watched a TV show. Anyways, whoops, we lost this. So if you would like to swap with me, if you'd like to do a swap, what you're supposed to do is fold it up like that and then you put it in... Um, a regular sized letter envelope and you mail it and it is supposed to be something fun. If you don't know about these, um, you can search them. There is a, um, there's a website devoted to them. You can search that too, but, um, and I'm on there as well, but I haven't gotten anyone to swap with me yet. So I did join a swap that I'm going to take place in. <clears throat> but I wanted to do some more swaps because I'm really enjoying doing these. So if you would like to swap with me, put your name down below and and um, or send me an email. I will email you back and we can work out the information. Bye-bye now.